Well, hello everyone, I'm Brandon Bolendorfer and let me be the first to welcome you to our planning system. Achiever, you are on your way to reaching and achieving your goals. Through the key to success planning system, you are going to be able to build a framework for your intentions, master your vision into daily activities, and most importantly, get the most out of life and find balance in what it is that you're looking to achieve personally and professionally all while growing your organization and the community around you. First things first, today guys, we're gonna show you how to install your Key to Success Planner on OneNote using Method 1. Now, before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about Method 1 and our installation guide. You can go to our website and you can click on Training and see Installation Guide and find how to install our planning system across OneNote. You will also see a link that when you're finished with the installation, if you want to open up OneNote on your mobile devices, this link will show you how to do that. Today we're gonna to talk about installation on OneNote using method one. Now when you click on this here, it's gonna take you to a web page. There's two different methods, method one and method two to our system. Method one is designed for Windows based users. If you are using an Apple computer or you are using someone else's computer to install this and you simply want to import to your iPad or another mobile device, method two is the method that I would suggest for you. But if you have a Windows device that has OneNote, the desktop version, or you are a SharePoint or business user, you're going to want to use method one. Also, what I'd like to tell you about method one is that most users, when we use method one, you have to understand you have to have the desktop version to OneNote. If you have a version that's labeled, for example, Windows 10 OneNote, and you do not have a desktop version, you can still import the notebook, but you're going to need to use method two. So for Windows users, for those business professionals and SharePoint users, let's go ahead and get started with method one. All right, now let's get started with the installation process. The first step is to download your OneNote notebooks. You should have received an email that looks like this. It should say your invoice number and it should have some details about your order. Here you're gonna find your download links. Now on the left side is gonna be the name of the planner. That might be consistent throughout all the products in your cart. And across to the right, you're gonna have your download. And you're gonna see there's probably several different downloads. Might only be one download depending on the version of our planning system that you purchased. In this case, we're gonna download the executive planner for OneNote. We're gonna click and we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna to download to our computer. This part is so important that when you download the file, we're gonna go ahead and open the location which should naturally be in your downloads segment of your computer. It is so important that you do not move this file. Do not try to move this file to OneNote, to Google Drive, to your desktop. Leave it in your downloads folder. After we're finished, if you wanna move it as a means of archival or something, you can go ahead and do that. But we do not wanna move it here because it can play tricks on us and mess with the infrastructure of the notebook. Now, a lot of people here, this is the first step in the step that so many people get hung up on. You cannot simply double click and open the folder. You need to go back and right click on the folder and click on extract all. We need to extract this zip document and we need to extract it to the local folder that it's downloaded to. So we're gonna hit extract here. Again, you do not want to extract this to OneNote or any cloud-based uh, drive at this time. Once it extracts, it'll open up and create a new folder. In this case, this folder looks very similar to this folder here, except for the type is a file folder versus the previous folder was a compressed zip folder. We can go ahead and open this folder. Now, if you have multiple downloads, such as those that are at the executive package, you're gonna have multiple zip files that you need to download. In every case, we're gonna go into the folder that we unpackaged and open it up. In here, if you're a Windows-based user, we're gonna go ahead and open up this folder here. 
Now, you are going to find that when you get to this area, there is going to be two different folders. The top one that's not labeled Sunday Start is actually a Monday Start Planner. Here is a Sunday Start Planner. Now, you might find that there might be a portrait version or a landscape version as we expand different editions, but you need to choose a start date that's gonna work best for you. In this case, I'm gonna choose the Monday start date. I'm gonna open this folder, and from here, this is gonna be my folder. Now, you're gonna see some OneNote files and you're gonna see some folders. Do not click on any of these other pages and do not go into any of these folders. We directly want to go to this OneNote notebook. Now, I'm going to click on it, right click, and go to Open With and I wanna make sure I'm clicking on OneNote. You might see an option for OneNote Windows 10. We need to open up OneNote. Now, if you do not have OneNote on your computer and you got to this stage, you're going to need to go back to our website, go back here, and choose Method 2. And Method 2 will help you and guide you through the process if you do not have the desktop version of our system. So from the website though, we're gonna jump back into that folder and you're gonna see that OneNote open notebook folder is here. Again, we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna hit open with and choose OneNote. This should launch the OneNote application. Now, at this point, you need to be signed in to a OneNote account for this next process to work. You're gonna see an archival screen on the top. That is okay. Right now, the file is read only, which we see up on top here. Again, that is okay. The next steps that we take are going to allow us to edit this file as well as sync this file. So don't stop here. This is the second place in our installation guide where people get hung up on. Just because it's open on your desktop, it's not editable, it's not syncing to your other devices. So from here, we're gonna go up to File, and our notebooks are gonna open. Now you're gonna see like my previous notebooks that are syncing are gonna say like OneDrive.Live. That tells me that that file is stored in the cloud. In this case, this file here is stored to that downloads folder that we were just at. We wanna go ahead and click on Share on Web or Network. From here, it's gonna open up uh, the option for us to share and we can label the notebook. Now you might have a couple different OneDrives here if you have more than one account on your computer. If you don't have one at this point, you can add a place and this is where you'd be able to add OneNote for your personal use or OneNote for business. For example, that SharePoint user. If you are a SharePoint user, you would see that option here as well. We click on this. The next step is to label the notebook. In this case, I'm going to label it 2023 key to success, Brandon's business planner. And I'm gonna hit move notebook. Now in some cases, you can go ahead and choose to have it located into a different folder and you can browse for a directory. So if you have different folders you wanna to choose to put it in, you can go in. Most commonly speaking, people put it in their documents folder. If you don't do that, it should default to the location on your computer where all your notebooks are saved. And we're gonna hit move notebook. Now this process may take a minute, it may take a few seconds, it may take a couple minutes. You may even see somewhere up in the corner up here that the application is not responding. I find that that's simply because it's syncing. Please allow this to move through the sync process. It's going to vary based on your internet speed. If you get a pop-up window that says something about a missing page, click OK. At the end of the process, you should see your notebook is now syncing to the new location. Hit OK. And at this point, this will show you who are the users that have access to this notebook. First and foremost, it's most likely only you because you just installed it. But if you wanted to share it, uh, you are welcome to do so. Now, some people will install this on their personal OneNote and then they'll share it to their business account. I highly recommend this for those that may see a career change or a role change in the future. That way you'll have your notebook with you throughout your entire life on your personal drive, no matter where you choose to work in what capacity. 
we're gonna go back to the back button and this is going to take us back to our OneNote. We're gonna first see that there's a little sync symbol right here. This tells me that the notebook is syncing to the cloud. We also saw the read only symbol is no longer there. So that means that the file is now editable. And you can see here that that ribbon is gone as well. One thing I will tell you when you are importing the notebook, the dates and tabs import alphabetically. You can go ahead, you click on this, and you can drag these and realign these. However, you cannot do that until the notebook has fully synced for the first time. Once the notebook has fully synced, you are then able to reorganize these. At this point also, you are able to go in and start to make notations. So if I wanna come in here, I can start to type, I can start to write in the planning system. You are set to go. The next question is, do you have other devices you want to sync this to? Do you have OneNote for Windows 10 on your computer that you want to use as well? Yes, you can go back to our website. You can learn how to open the notebook and other notebooks. It may take anywhere from 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or an hour or two for this notebook to fully sync and to appear in your list of notebooks that you can open up on other devices. It's very important that you allow this application to fully sync and leave the application open. If you minimize the application or go about doing other work, the application may pause syncing in the background. So I highly suggest leave the notebook open, go make yourself some coffee, read a book, jump over to our YouTube page and check out some training videos. With that being said, let's talk about training. You can go back to our website and you can go to training support, training resources, and this will take you to a complete guide of training resources that we have available for you. We go about the process of how to use the planner, how to use the individual pages. We even talk about how to use the application. So if you are using a Surface, an Android device, an iPad, we have tons of resources available. And we're always adding additional resources to our planning system training series. So if you haven't, go down here, click on YouTube, and jump over to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our channel. This is going to allow you to see the latest. There's a playlist I highly recommend you take a look at. It's called OneNote Pro Tips in Training. If you go into this playlist, you are gonna find a library of different videos that show you how to use OneNote, some of the best productivity hacks that I've found, how to set your OneNote up, how to create hyperlinks, how to create Snap the Grid. That is so important for those that want to type in this planning system. It allows you to type in a planning system and align the text to the page. I also show you some clever tricks on how to do side by side on OneNote, as well as how to use different gear. And as new gear comes out, this playlist will update. So I highly suggest you take a few minutes, jump over here, subscribe to this page, and start watching some of these videos. You are going to get the most out of our planning system. And at any time you have questions, you can go ahead and go back to our website and start a chat with us. Guys, I hope that this is the start of the first day of your success and you have so many days to embark on in front of this. I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System, and Lord willing, we'll all see each other again.